But we had a Facebook question, and the question obvious, did the NFL get it right with the suspensions from the Browns-Steelers uh, game the other night? So let's uh, take a look and see what people had to say. Gerard de Morelli, not, not with the indefinite part, suspend him for the rest of the season and then start anew next year for Garrett. And Rudolph doesn't even get one game off. That's ridiculous. Chris Art says, I'm fine with Miles getting suspended for the rest of the season, but that should be it. Mason deserved at least one or two game suspension for instigating it. Either way, uh, from here on out, the NFL has to stay consistent with the suspensions in these matters. In 2013, Antonio Smith was only suspended five games for a similar situation. He was the instigator. I don't agree with the indefinite part. Ted Moon says it's hard to determine uh, truly. However, I agree with uh, Mr. Uh, Goodell that this had to be dealt with quickly and firmly so that the players and clubs know this type of behavior is unacceptable. If it wasn't our team, I would think that this was a good move. Delete my emotion, and yes, the NFL got it right. Larry Pantages says Browns fans should feel lucky it wasn't worse. Alex Karras and Paul Horning were uh, thrown out for a year for gambling, which is now the which now is the NFL is in the awkward position of embracing it with a big hug. As Chuck Daly used to say, "This is America. You got to love it." Aaron Wood, no, they didn't get it right. My Miles and Larry and Pouncey got in trouble for their actions. When Mason should uh, should have had, uh, it would only be fair if Mason got it too. Daniel Chick, Rudolph should have gotten suspended. All right, All right. I, this I, is the, this is the the source of much of my conversation with uh, with people on Twitter today because I disagree with that. In my mind, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, everything that happened up to the point of the him swinging a helmet at an unprotected head was, I think, subject to fines, not suspensions. Even yanking the helmet off? I wouldn't have suspended okay. I wouldn't have suspended Garrett for that up right. until that point. If he takes that helmet and throws it in the end zone, I think we have a situation where guys are getting fined for fighting. Right. So the fact that he went way over the top by hitting Mason Rudolph on the head doesn't make the instigating part, if that's what you believe he did, right. so a sus suspendable offense. To me, it became suspendable when he did that and then the guys that followed did what they well, did. Well, let's also say that if he doesn't hit him with that particular part of the helmet, you may have a different story. You may have a dead man out there, and uh, even and, and if not that, you may have the legal people take over. It's not wouldn't be judged by. I think that's the, fair. What Goodell and, would and, say. And um, I I don't know. I guess it's too much to ask people. That we had the the one honest man, and I can't remember his name in in the the response who said, taking my Brown's loyalty out of it, he thinks they got it right. And yeah, I, think, Ted Moon. I think Ted was right. I would agree with Ted on that. I think, in general, they got it right. And I would, if, if the roles were completely reversed, I would be saying the same thing, that Baker Mayfield, I don't care if you think he instigated it, he didn't go to the lengths and the extreme that Miles Garrett did. That's why Miles Garrett's suspended. Pouncey, we know why he's suspended. He kicked a man in the head, and Ogunjobi got a game because he blindsided a guy and knocked him down, ran into a fight, and did it. So I think they're all defensible suspensions. Um, I'll should tell you, Rudolph be fined? Yeah, and, and I can hear people saying, now, oh, these fines don't matter. These guys don't no, care about matter. fines. They matter. That's all. All right, so it, it all happened. What I think is interesting, and, and it goes back to what Ted said in his uh, email or his uh, Facebook response, and that is that you, you have a situation where um, the, it's a Browns player involved, and almost everybody on this show, on radio that I've listened to, there may be one or two knuckleheads that didn't agree, but for the most part, everybody agrees what, what uh, uh, Miles Garrett did was totally wrong. Other stuff is debatable. Yeah, listen, I think, and, and to get to the part of the, the Facebook response about the indefinite suspension, um, I'll admit I initially thought it was going to be like a six or eight game suspension, something like that. I think they made it um, indefinite because of the point in the season that it happened. Right. And also because they want to see some contrition and they didn't have a, the immediate proof of that. I believe that well, they Garrett. got it. You got it right after the game. No, but but I'm well. They got him saying something into a microphone, right? But, right. But as far as meeting with him and oh. engaging, you know, whether, don't you think he's? Goodell I do is, believe he's contrite on this. I do too. But don't you think that Goodell? Well, first of all, this is the same guy who got punched by a fan and then just looked up the license plate. But um, 
Do you think Goodell opened himself up to ha f that he would have to lower the suspension after that he, that he went hot and heavy after him and maybe some things will come out that the indefinite part may come out of it? I don't know. I, I think they did it so that on appeal and some wiggle room, he'll make some he'll make a, a case for himself yeah. on appeal that he's not this kind of player. And I think because of that, they'll say, we'll take the indefinite part off. You're welcome to come back in the first in the home opener or the season opener right. of 2020. And we'll make sure with our referees that the, the Browns will not make the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Browns may take care of that themselves, playing, playing six more games without Miles Garrett. 2-1.